Hey guys, what's up? Yokurama here. Today I'm here to bring you guys my week one first impressions of the 2013 spring anime season. This is all based off of just the first episode apart from Shingeki no Kyojin because I did watch the second episode. So keep that in mind. My opinions might change later on when the series progresses. I might love something now, hate it later or vice versa. So yeah, just, just keep that in mind. So without any further ado, let's get started. Now the first one I'll be talking about is Aku no Hana that translates to Flowers of Evil. Now this is going to be a 13 episode anime TV series that is produced by Zexus and it is a drama romance school psychological series. And oh man, this is this is without a doubt the worst anime of the season. No doubt in my mind about that. It just it, it, it's horrible. But I will talk about a story briefly. It's pretty much about this boy who ends up taking this girl's gym uniform home that he liked. Another girl saw him take that gym uniform and she blackmails him by saying that she will tell everybody the truth that he took her uniform if he doesn't obey her. And that's pretty much the story that goes and escalates into some weird things later on. But when it comes to Akonohana, I suggest just reading the manga. Do not really go for the anime. You can check out the first episode for some laughs. I know there's some people that actually do like it but it, it's just it's horrible in my opinion it's completely atrocious so it's really up to you the next one is Danse Bunri no Crime Edge that translates to the severing crime edge and this is going to be a 13 episode action fantasy romance seinen series so it's definitely going to have a little bit of dark themes put into it and it's pretty interesting so far but at the same time it's one of the weirdest and creepiest series because our main character has a hair fetish. He wants to cut hair of beautiful girls, and it's just weird. Story is pretty much about the descendants of murders and their killing tools that they used for their murders. And going off the first episode, it's a little bit confusing, but we did get a little bit of like backstories and stuff. So it seems like there's going to be some sort of battle going on between the ancestors of previous murders, which they use their killing tools to fight each other. And I guess they contain some sort of magical fantasy aspects to them. So going off the first episode, I don't really know what to expect from this, but definitely has some potential. Weird, but has potential. So check it out, guys, if it interests you. Next one is Date A Live. And this is going to be a 12-episode comedy mega romance school sci-fi shonen series. And it is adapted from a light novel that is pretty popular and has a pretty big fan base so a lot of people were looking forward to it and I kind of glimpsed a little bit here and there kind of looking forward to it as well it has a very interesting concept and story how they live in a world where these weird earthquakes happen that destroy everything but it turns out that it's not really just regular earthquakes it's this girl that appears from I guess a different dimension or a different world or whatever they don't really explain from the first episode and she is the one that causes that earthquake so pretty much on her way over to to our world it causes that huge earthquake that destroys everything and our main character is pretty much ordered to make her fall in love with him and by doing so he will save the world so it has a very weird story but it's a little bit interesting and definitely something that has potential but doesn't look like anything that's gonna become like a a masterpiece but I think it's worth a check out at least the first episode next one is devil survivor 2 the animation now before I continue this is not a sequel there is no devil survivor 1 that this anime is a sequel to no this is a standalone story and it is based off an atlas game just like Persona 4. And it is going to be a 13 episode anime TV series that is gonna be all supernatural and it's gonna have a lot of demons and stuff like that. And so far, it's probably one of the best of the season. Now, it starts off with our main characters finding out about this app that pretty much predicts your friend's death. It sends you a video of your friend dying when he dies and it turns out it predicts his death and his friend's death, how a train falls over 
over on them and right after they watch it a train falls over on them and they get asked if they want to live or die they choose live and they get these avatars or these demons that kind of come out of their phones it installs this app it's a little bit confusing but after you watch the episode you will get it and these monsters and demons start appearing and have to use their avatars their demons to fight those other demons and it's, it's very interesting animation is beautiful music is great definitely check this one out next one is Ginga Kikotai Majestic Prince or just Majestic Prince and this is going to be a 24 episode TV series that is an action mecha school sci-fi senin and this anime has a big cast of characters now this is a sci-fi mech series so you can kind of guess what kind of story is gonna be and yes it is very typical for a mech like humans leave earth and they live in space and stuff like that that's exactly how this one is and how our main character gets this crazy power while he fights and he's all epic and strong and that's pretty much it that's really all the synopsis is so if you want to watch another mech series that's pretty interesting pretty good that just kicks ass check it out it gives off a lot of enjoyment but it's not a masterpiece or anything like that or it's not a must watch so really it's up to you if you're a big mech fan or not if you want to check this one out next one is Hataraku Mao Sama which translates to the devil is a part-timer this is going to be a 13 episode tv series that is a comedy demons fantasy romance shonen series and this one is brilliant it is without a doubt the funniest anime of the season or of the year so far it pretty much starts off with this crazy battle between humans demons and the devil and the hero and it's all this crazy animation and satan's in there and he's like looks like a demon and stuff all epic and scary and he's about to lose to the hero so he teleports himself with his second in command to a different parallel world and it's it's earth it's japan tokyo and he has a human form and it from there on funniest thing ever he tries to survive in the human world while he conserves enough energy so that he may return and take his rightful place in the demon world it's just it's brilliant the stuff that happens like him trying to rent an apartment him working at like a McDonald's and all this other stuff it, it's awesome it's completely awesome and if you're a fan of comedy check this out because this is this is just a must watch I cannot tell you guys enough of how awesome this one was so check it out guys Yokurama approves next one is hentai OG to Warawanai Neko which translates to the hentai prince and the stony cat now this is going to be a 12 episode episode TV series produced by JC Staff, which is going to be a comedy romance school senin series. And it's so fitting talking about this one right after talking about Mao-sama because this is another funny one. This is an, one of the funniest anime of the season and the year as well so far. But of course, this one's just full of pervy jokes because you can tell it has the word hentai in the freaking title. So it, it, hentai translates to pervert in Japanese to English. And it just, it's, it's funny. It's hilarious it's awesome it's about this boy and girl that make a wish to the stone cat to change themselves like the boy he wants to be more open he wants to say everything that's inside of him and inside he's a complete pervert so he turns out to be this complete pervert prince and just walks around acting like a pervert and stuff it's just hilarious the situations he gets in and the girl she wants to actually hold in her emotions more and that way she becomes pretty much a stone wall she has has no emotions in her face and they don't like that it's ruining their lives so they want to get their facades back and that's pretty much the story so far and it's very funny very easy going JC Staff's animation in this is just beautiful definitely a must watch if you're a comedy fan because you will not get disappointed with this one next one is Kakumeki Valrave which translates to Valrave the Liberator now this is actually going to be a two-parter season so there's this is the first season second season will air in October and and this season is going to be 12 episodes long. It's produced by Sunrise. So yeah, this is going to be an action mecha series. It's a completely original anime. It has no source material that I know of that Sunrise is taking from to make this. So going into this one, I had no idea, absolutely no idea what it's going to be about. But I could kind of guess. And yes, it, it is a typical Sunrise series. But it, 
was really enjoyable. Like, it wasn't the greatest thing. It was definitely average, but something that's worth being checked out, especially if you're an action mecha fan, because it kicks ass. It does kick ass, and it, it definitely reminds me of a lot of Gundam scenes. There's a lot of moments where I'm like, hey, I remember that kind of happening in Gundam. So if you're a Gundam fan, there's a lot of references to Gundam. So check this one out. There's no point of actually even mentioning this story because it's just a mecha series and this one doesn't really have that in-depth of a story but it does have some really interesting characters that I did become quite fond of and let me tell you guys if you guys have watched it or you guys are gonna watch it make sure you watch that little part after the ending theme song because some crazy stuff goes down yeah I was kind of sitting there jaw dropped actually and there's also a moment in the first episode where I, I got really angry um and it was right before our our main character got into the robot suit and started kicking all this ass. I got really angry at that moment before. You guys know what I'm talking about if you have seen it. Definitely caught my attention and I'm definitely gonna be watching more of this. Next one is Carnival and this is going to be a 13 episode anime TV series that is going to be an action mystery fantasy sci-fi shoujo series and you can totally tell it's a shoujo because of all these pretty colors and the way the characters are designed and all but it was pretty interesting. It has a lot a lot of fantasy aspects to it a lot of sci-fi aspects to it as well which is pretty awesome so it's actually not bad because sometimes these shoujo action sci-fi fantasy series turn out to be a little bit lackluster but from the first episode this one was pretty interesting it's pretty much about this very strong defense organization known as circus and they have these cool tech devices they're very powerful and there's a lot of fantasy crap going on where this woman in the beginning of the episode turns into this big spidery looking thing and I really don't understand the story completely off based off the first episode but it was very interesting so check it out if it's something that interests you. Next one is Mushi Bugio. It's unknown how many episodes this one is going to last for. The genres are martial arts shonen and this one is very probably below average it wasn't too interesting the animation quality was eh, very low the story was eh. it's about fighting insects and stuff and that's that's pretty much it but it was really interesting the backstory i like those kind of backstories where the son goes in his father's place because his father had to sacrifice something and it, it's really cool that's kind of how it is here the little backstory was really cool and it's your typical shonen series actually because it takes all the cliches and it just throws them into one series so I'm not even sure if I'm gonna be continuing this one because I'd rather watch so many other anime and this one is one of the most lackluster of the season so far so if you're into just like those cliche shonen battle martial arts series then check this one out in my opinion it's nothing special and if you skip it you're not gonna really miss out on anything next one is Photo Kano and this one is going to be 12 episodes long it's produced by Madhouse Studios so it looks nice and it's an etchy romance school anime and this one is about taking photos that's that's what it's about there's two photo clubs there's a photography club and a photo club and our main character gets a hand-me-down camera from his father and he sees it as opportunity to change himself so he gets recruited actually by both those clubs one of the clubs is full of perverts that take all these pervy shots the other club is full of actual photo enthusiasts full of girls and really that's all it is so far it's just the slice of life edgy school photography anime that's all it is so far it, it looks nice though because you know madhouse is doing it but apart from that it didn't hook me i know a lot of people liked it but like i said it, just, it didn't hook me so check it out for yourself if you're into this kind of stuff and who knows you might you might love it Next anime is Red Data Girl, and this is going to be a 12 episode anime TV series produced by PA Works, and it is a fantasy anime. It looks very nice, very, very nice. The backgrounds, the character models, everything looks just beautiful in this anime. And that's actually one of the biggest reasons why I'm continuing it, because it just looks really nice. <laughs> The story so far is it's all right. It's just about this girl who is, needs to be protected because she has this power. She's some sort of representative or something and she destroys any electronic device she touches. So that's very interesting. And uh, the main male character is forced to watch over her and he doesn't want to watch over her, but he's forced. And uh, that's it. He's he's kind of a he's kind of a dick throughout the whole first episode, but it was interesting. It was entertaining to watch. 
And like I said, the animation just just was so good for the eyes, I'm telling you. <laughs> so check it out if you like. It has potential, but it's nothing really amazing or anything like that. Next one is Shingeki no Kyojin, also known as Attack on Titan. And this is going to be a 25 episode TV series produced by Production IG and with Studios. And it is an action drama fantasy superpower shounen psychological twisted anime series and i know that you guys have heard of this one because this one is the biggest one of the season and probably is going to be one of the biggest ones of the year because it's so good if you guys have been living under a rock and you don't know what it's about it's pretty much about these titans that appear out of nowhere we don't really know from where they just appear and they start eating humans and for humans to survive because they cannot take them down these titans are like 15 meters tall they build a 50 meter wall and they wall themselves in to survive there was a hundred years of peace but out of nowhere a 50 plus meter titan appears knocks a hole in the wall and chaos begins and it's just freaking amazing everything everything about this is amazing animation the voice acting the music the story the direction everything is awesome so watch this you must watch this i know you're probably already watching it but if you're like the only person that's not watching it watch this because it's it's just freaking amazing next one is susei no gargantia also known as gargantia on the venderos planet this is going to be a 12 episode tv series produced by production ig and it is going to be a sci-fi mech series very heavy on the sci-fi very heavy on the mech actually it's not that heavy on the mech please yet <laughs> this is the next urobachi series so it has a lot of hype around it a lot of people have high expectations set for this one but that's understandable because Gen Robachi has been just throwing out masterpieces left and right. So I wonder if this is his next one. Now, this is a mech series, like I said. Uh, it takes place in the future where people have just left Earth and started living out in the galaxy. And somehow our main character ends up teleporting or ending up on Earth. And he's just freaking surprised because like, what Earth? I only, I only read about this. So it's been a really long time since people left Earth. It's probably been generations, maybe centuries. So already that's very interesting. Plus it has a lot of awesome sci-fi aspects to it. Like that suit, it's not your typical mech suit. Plus the animation for this is awesome. The music and soundtrack is freaking amazing. But it took me at least five tries to get past that first half of episode one. I'm a person that loves mechs and all these battle space scenes, but I just could not get past that first half. I just, I was bored. Maybe it's because I already watched like two or three other mechs this season, but I don't know. Putting a huge space battle within the first half of the episode was a little bit lame, I'd say. They should have just jumped in with that second half of the episode or just cut down the battle scene at least to you know four or five minutes not like 10 plus but yeah definitely check this one out this is definitely one of the best one of the best looking one of the best sounding anime of this season so far so definitely have high hopes for this one and the last one is Yahari Ore no Seishun Love Come Wa Machi Gateru, which translates to My Youth Romantic Comedy is Wrong As I Thought. Or in short, it's called Oregairu, and that's that's how I call it because I'm not crazy. And it's unknown how many episodes this one's going to be. It's produced by Brain Base, so it looks freaking beautiful. I love Brain Base's style of an atmosphere of their animation. It's just awesome. And this is a comedy romance school series so another like slice of lifey type anime that is sort of an anime that needs to hook you so it's really different for everybody i can't say it's bad i can't say it's good because for one person they could have this sort of inside joke that they understood and they just completely fell in love with it but for other people it could just fly over their head and they're just not gonna get hooked and they're not gonna enjoy it as much so this is one of those series i did not get hooked to this one so i did not particularly enjoy it too much apart from the main character main male character he was freaking awesome he just spoke his mind and it was just awesome but really yeah there's no point of talking about the story it's pretty much about this dude that's forced to join a club and the girl in the club has to change him or whatever 
and that's that's it. That's it. It's a slice of life. It's a school romance comedy series. It's, there's no story to begin with, um, but a lot of people do like it. So check it out if it's something that might interest you. But that is all of the spring anime of 2013 that I have started. I know there's a few that I missed. A couple of two to three minute per episode animes that I missed. I just did not feel like watching any of those this season, and maybe a couple of other animes that I missed, along with all the season twos. But you guys should know by now that. I do not give my first impressions of season twos on this segment of my videos. But yeah, that is my thoughts. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought of all these anime or at least of some of your favorite ones. Always looking forward to read those comments below. Also, let me know if you guys are checking out any of these animes or which ones are you most likely to check out after this video. Definitely something I'm interested in reading. Make sure you guys like this video if you guys enjoyed because it helps out a lot and I very much appreciate it. Also, subscribe to the channel if you guys enjoy these anime type of videos chapter reviews and all these other sort of anime videos a lot more on the way i'm yokurama and baby i'm out peace